So basically, a while ago, I made this YouTube short. This message. Have you guys seen it? And it got so many likes, which is why I'm here right now. In that short, I said I would go into further detail in this video, answering such questions like, Oh gee, why did you post such an ominous message? It doesn't make any sense. Or, oh gee, what did you not like about DaVinci Resolve? Or, oh gee, why did you choose Kaden Live? And also, oh gee, what did you not like about Kaden Live that made you switch back? So yeah, now I think that's enough bantering, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, so here's the thing. I started using DaVinci Resolve after trying out other softwares that obviously did not work out for me. However, DaVinci Resolve still had its own issues. For example, there were times when I would try to edit a video, and it would freeze up on me and crash in the middle of my editing, which was not fun. Even though that only happens about 5 to 10 times per project, which is not a lot, but still. Another thing is that there was some slight delay, like when my project becomes so big that I would have to wait at least 1 second just to make one out of the possibly 10,000 edits that I would have to make. Like a cut or a ripple doing so that's when I decided to try something else. I searched on YouTube trying to look for better software, and that's when I stumbled upon TJ Free's video, shout out to him, and I came across Caden Live. It seemed cool, it's free, open source, and supported on multiple operating systems. Plus, if it's one of the softwares that TJ uses for most of his videos and his clients, then it must be good, right? <laughs> well, I couldn't have been more wrong. There were actually three flaws with it. One, I can't overwrite clips, which is something that I was aware of because TJ mentioned that in one of his videos. It only slowed down my editing slightly, so not so much that it would be considered a major issue, but there were other major issues with the software. Two, there is no ripple delete. I was already aware of this issue as well, but I didn't think it would be a big deal. Turns, Turns out, out, it really swells everything down. Like in DaVinci Resolve, a ripple delete is as easy as a click of a button, which only takes about one to two seconds to click a button and then process the action. However, in King Live, I have to drag the clips manually to simulate a ripple delete, which takes around three to four seconds. And I know this does not sound like much for one edit, but imagine doing that at least a thousand more times. And the time it takes as well, yeah. So I would have waited at least half an hour trying to simulate those ripple deletes, which is not fun at all. And the third thing, which I wasn't even expecting, is issues with multiple audio tracks. Sure, Kaden Live technically supports it, but I personally do not advise using that. And the reason for it is pretty weird. You, you see, see, when I try to shift my tracks for a specific clip, for some reason the audio tracks would switch up on its own. Like the game audio track becomes another mic audio track, or the mic audio track becomes another game audio track, or the audio tracks swap places on their own. If you still don't understand what I mean, maybe this will help you understand. Let's see. Wait, what? It's not switching. I guess that only happens from time to time because I know for certain that happens. Like, it does. You, you guys, guys gotta, gotta believe, believe me. You, you guys, guys believe. believe for now, I'm gonna stick with DaVinci Resolve. And I'm glad I did because I was eventually able to finish making that video that I've been oh so desperately waiting to finish. So that's why I posted this ominous message so that I give up on trying to find a new editing software. For now, Despite my issues with DaVinci Resolve, it honestly checks most of my boxes. It's simple, it's intuitive, it supports jump cuts, it supports ripple deletes, and it has a decent performance. However, I may try to find a better software in the future, and if you guys have any ideas on what other softwares I could use, then comment below what editing softwares you think I should use. Thank you so much for watching, I got more stuff to do, but for now, check out this video right here, because again, I spent two weeks trying to edit it in Kaden Live, only for me to end up editing it in DaVinci Resolve for another two weeks. So see you guys next time. The Triple OG is out.